that's what it is. I think you're going to be here. Wait, 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 wait. No, I was about to get some light. Hey Mark, spell your first and last name. M-A-R-K-W-Y-S-O-C-K-I. Montgomery County Animal Shelter. Tell me a little about this morning. Uh, right now we've got uh, just about uh, almost close to 70 animals, a mixture of dogs and cats, uh, that are going up to Minnesota, uh, courtesy of Dog Is My Co-Pilot and Petco Love. Uh, we're thanking them for helping us um, with some of our overcrowding situations at the shelter uh, by getting some of these pets being able to be shipped up there. Uh, to a partner up in the north who's got uh, adopters already looking at uh, some of these animals online and anxiously awaiting them. How's the crowding doing? You getting it down pretty much un underhand, or is it the springtime it's still, surge it's, again? It's still springtime surge. Um, we are just like most of the shelters in this uh, in the entire nation, where medium large side dogs are just staying a lot longer than normal. Um, our partners that normally we're able to transport into aren't able to take as many, um, so it's a it's a slow process for all of us. Um, so every little bit we can help, please come to shelter, please adopt, foster, uh, even if it's just for a couple of days or a week to get a better feel for the dog so that um, we have a better understanding of how it acts in a home versus in the shelter when it's uh, crowded in a kennel with, two, with one or two other dogs. And that's second flight out in what, a couple of weeks now? When... Uh, second flight out actually in whatever Friday is, four, four or five days. How many, you, how many went out Friday and where'd they go to? Uh, so those were, it was about... Uh, a little over 50 um, dogs. Uh, they went up to Northeast to New York, New Jersey, and to Massachusetts. Quite a bit of adoption up there though. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. But still unfortunately a little slower than normal up there. Uh, all around the country, like I said, which is uh, kind of slowing down some of our transport opportunities. So all the help we can get, we, uh, we greatly appreciate it. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs>
Mark, this is the second flight in a couple of days. Tell me about the flight Friday. So the flight Friday was um, up to New England. We did. To, we went to New York, New Jersey, and Massachusetts uh, with about a little over 50 dogs. Uh, some of those were from the seizure last month. Uh, that was in no small part thanks to the extraordinary work of the Bissell Pet Foundation. Uh, when we set out the 911 call for assistance due to the seizure or overcrowding, uh, they uh, went above and beyond to try to reach out to multiple partners. Uh, got a couple of the partners that were going to be able to take some of the animals from us. Um, and then the flight was fully, fully paid for, excuse me, by Bissell Pet Foundation. Uh, so I definitely want to give a special shout out to, excuse me, a special shout out to Bissell Pet Foundation, uh, Kathy Bissell, for all they do to help Montgomery County Animal Shelter. Uh, they've helped us with this flight. They've helped us with uh, multiple of our public spay neuter events, as well as our, uh, as well as their empty the shelter adoption events.